Okay, I think we're on. Um, I don't know where I'm going to go with this really, just um, I've got one of these command stations. Um, this is the purple MP7 version and uh, I've started to try and learn about it, explore it, see what happens when I try and make some sounds with it. Um, I am a beginner beginner, uh, I'm not here to teach you anything, just to share some of the um, experiences I have with playing about with the sounds, what I can get out of it, uh, how to use it, but I really don't know so this is all very raw and uh, I don't have much experience at all of doing uh, any music on this machine, I've, I've had it perhaps about, played about, about 10 times, uh, had it about 3 months and uh, I think uh, made lots of weird noises and don't know what I'm doing. So here we go, let's get into this. Uh, so uh, I'm not sure what sound to use, she's just pretty pretty raw really. Uh, I know you can use like these kits here. Oh, by the way, I should have said, uh, the extra bit I've got plugged in is uh, one of these, which is just like a foot switch. You can use any foot switch, plugs into the back of the command station. Uh, in fact, you can put a couple in there. This unit is so versatile, I tell you. Um, so this is just the MP7 sounds that comes with it. I'm recording into a, uh, a Zoom. There you go. If I can get it right in front of the camera. It's a Zoom H4n second hand. Uh, I've got the from here straight into the Zoom. And I'm recording on the Zoom's microphones at the same time. And I've got my headphones so I can hear what I'm playing messed about with. Uh, so there's no other things involved other than the he Emu MP7 and the Zoom's recording it and I'm recording this on a, an old iPad I've got. Uh, hopefully I won't run out of time, I've got like 40 minutes maximum. I really don't want to be that long but I might take forever because I'm going to ramble on quite a lot so this is not your style. Go search YouTube for someone who, who does it in your style or put it in the comments if you'd like me to change styles or something. <laughs> anyway, uh, let's have a listen. So this is just the standard kit. Yeah. Uh, oh, uh, transpose buttons here. So that was on a an octave lower. Let's try this next octave up, which is like your middle C, I think C three. That's an interesting one. Well, that's an interesting noise. That's like probably a bass guitar type thing. Up to the next uh, octave. That's an interesting noise. So usually what I want to do when I, when I have a listen to a noise on this, um, you, you can press the audition button and that will audition the whole of the sound that's in there because this is a kit so it's got each individual pad's got usually a different type of sound or a different pitch of sound on it. It'll play the audition at that uh, riff Thing. I don't fully understand it, it's got a riff that it plays, um, I think that A there stands for the arpeggiator and it's on the programmed one, the P1, but the audition riff, um, that sort of, to display a tune through the noise that's on it at the moment. Um, anyway, I'll, I'll, I'm sure I'll be able to explain that better when I learn more about it. I usually have the manual as well. Uh, on my iPad, but I'm using my iPad to film at the moment. So I have my iPad with the manual on it because it's about 400 pages and it's loads of stuff in that I haven't read all yet. Um, anyway, we're getting back to what we're doing. Uh, so this noise. So if I'm going to mess about with the sound on here first, uh, I'll, I'll, I'll press the sound and then I'll use my uh, pedal switch just to hold the sound so I don't have to keep my finger on the button. So press the button. Now I've got the uh, the sound pressed, uh, kept rather, by my foot pressing on the pedal. So then I can go up here, um, oh, so that's panning at the moment. That's because up here I've got a uh, quick edit program volume and pan. So I want to come off pan back onto quick edit and that allows me to alter the preset sound with different parameters that are programmed into here. 
the ones that are written on are the main ones but you can put other stuff in here which we'll perhaps do in another video I don't know when I learn how to do it uh, so let's have a look at the fields cut off standard sort of change so the, we've got a nice filter cut off thing going on there I uh, hope oh, you can hear me speaking alright because I'm speaking into the mp3 rather than the uh, zoom so we've got that going on now so let's see what else we can do with this sound pop in a bit of the, uh, the Q filter see if that changes anything don't seem to there I have noticed there's a lot of variance in um, how these sounds are made, how they work. Um, dependent upon how the, the sound's been programmed in, so maybe this isn't a good one to it's modulation. So we've got um, pitch change in there, which is interesting. You can also hold stuff, if I take my finger foot off that, sorry, off the pressing on. That's something else I've noticed which I forgot to do. Once you've, once you've altered some settings, sometimes you have to replay the note before the sound changes, if you will. So filter attack there is working. So, so that, that changes in Q did work. It's just that not withholding the noise down. So I've got that new noise now that I can mess about with the the filter cut off. That's lovely. I do like that kind of noise. It's really coming up and expressing and being um, bright so I've got the decay another thing I found with them as well is the uh, the velocity they hit the key and the amplitude it plays with it, the velocity amp setting. Quite often for most sounds, I have to like pull it backwards to get the maximum sound. So if, if I switch it so it goes red, so it's, the values change and then bring it back, all of a sudden it's louder because the it's like the, the default setting's off slightly. Because there we go, it's down there somewhere. So if you turn it right up, you get a louder sound, so it's just to watch for if you're playing. There's a bit of a mess about with the sound. I just, look, I just, I like taking journeys, you know, going through the different sounds that you can make. Uh, sometimes I come up with tunes, sometimes I don't. Um, there seems to be like an expressiveness in this that I, I'll need 20 years to get hold of properly. I don't know. So that's just on my uh, sustain pedal again. I don't know if you like listening to the sounds um, just slowly changing and evolving, but I, I do. I like I like that sort of thing. So I tend to try and chase after those things that that make it vary slightly. If you go to pan as well, you can pop it into the stereo field. So if you want to record it real time like this, we can we can drop it through, and you can put that on one of the. Um, the LFOs, I assume, in, in the editing of the noises, uh, the, the voices, sorry, uh, I, I don't know yet, I'm, I'm sure you can.
So I suppose uh, we could record all that stuff, but I'm not going into that yet because my head can't get hold of it all at once. I've, just, I've got to just be careful about what I'm doing because I'll, I'll, I'll lose myself. I'm already starting to lose myself because I like that sound. <laughs> So there, we've got uh, amp release, beautiful, isn't it? Because you can just like... So now I'm not pressing on the uh, sustain button, just because I've put the release value to lower. You know, you've got uh, your attack, decay, sustain, release envelope. Where, where, the, where the sound rises up quick, I don't see, I don't know what you know, but anyway, the, the sound rising up quick or slow, the filter rising up quick or slow, how fast it decays, um, and the same for the amp, and, and all those settings as well, this is what I'm excited about getting into, is uh, all those settings, they can be looked at being varied with uh, various different generators, with the LFO, um, I want to get into that but I've not yet found out how exactly to do that which is what that's the kind of journey I want to sort of share with you guys so let's have a look and see what I'll just turn those right down uh, see what these LFO 2 things do to this sound right so already it's doing something I assume that because filter attack is up let's try it and filter decay is off So there, filter goes off straight away, I think. Yeah, so then we've got, that's it, filters, immediate decay. So you can just, it's great, you can just shape the sound, I love it, it's great. I love that, that's, that, that's just like, I want some of that going on. So now I've put this LFO2 amount on this particular sound, does something there. That's the um, the, the amount of it, the rate, the, the depth of it, sorry. And then let's see what happens when we go for the rate. Yeah. So already that's like a, a weird, I like it. So just take the amount off a little bit, but leave the rate up. And that, we're getting a bit of like, reverb almost going on there, I don't understand that. Take the amp release off. Wow, that was interesting. So that's probably, I don't know, um, something happening. <laughs> I don't know what that is. Yeah, so again, all, all I've got at the moment is that I've got my foot pressed on the sustain pedal, keeping it going. Uh, and we're getting some sort of a weird... And of course with all this sort of going on, you can always play with some other pads. Now what's 
going on now is we've got all those notes playing in the background. So release right up and then let it slowly drift away. That's fantastic, isn't it? Just, I, 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 love, I love it, I love it, I love it, I love it. So all I'm doing there, she's still in that I mean, this this thing has got like hundreds and hundreds of voices, and within each of the voices, there's different layers. I mean, talk about making some ambient stuff. I just think that's amazing. I just I, I, I love it. Let's put a little bit of modulation on, see what happens. Starting, something starting. That's beautiful for me. You gotta to listen to this with headphones on. You really gotta really gotta to listen to this with headphones on. This is bonkers for me anyway. Love it. What was that then? So it's got after touch as well. Oh yeah. That's what I'm talking about. <laughs> through to the foreground, it's doing something weird in my head, brilliant. filter what happens if I do that
Sennheiser uh, HD 580 is really old second-hand fantastic sound to them either that or some uh, monitors or something to listen to because the the, the range of um, different frequencies you can get out of this is absolutely loony um, just with keeping on the same kit let's just go uh, one octave up and see what the noises we've got here oh dear <laughs> that's a bit loud Now, another tip as well, it, you probably already know this, but if you don't have one of these sustain, sustain pedals, and all it is is an, like a, a latch on latch or switch type thing, and you can get them um, cheap off eBay or off local music shop, um, you can also use your touch strip hold to do the same sort of thing. So um, if I put touch strip hold on, so it'll hold it. So that does the same thing as that. And you've got a volume control so you can... And you can also uh, edit the volumes here. If you press the mix button, you get on volume up there, and press the mix button, you've got all your different volumes for all your different channels. So each one of these corresponds to one of them. Uh, like if I turn that one down, it's there. That one down, that's the fifth one. This is the fifth one, two, three, four, five. So that, uh, you might really know that. I don't know. I'm just sort of saying. Uh, <coughs> it blows my head what you can do with this thing. Whoops, we're in the blue your ears with what I can do with this thing. So there we've got now pan, left and right, so you can do some weird stuff with this thing. Uh, yeah, what I'm doing, back off that. Right, okay, sorry. Um, yes, uh, so we're at, gosh, uh, we're already at 10 minutes over, aren't we? Well, uh, so we'll be finishing shortly um, on, on this little <sighs> amazing sort of jump through um, preset. We're back on the be key, Becky Boy's key. We were just, ah, I was just looking through here, wasn't I? Play this for a second, see what, what what we can get out of this. Right, so just took touch strip off there. So that gives a different thing to a sort of like a vibrato type thing, but really configurable. It. I love it, it's just, I mean, you can do so much with this. And then hold it. Uh, we haven't gone down yet, have we? 
Which is, thing is, right, let me just, uh, at the moment, I don't know if you know, but that save copy light's flashing because it's got the asterisk there, and that always says whenever you've altered anything at all, it'll, it'll ask you if you want to save it or not, so we don't want to save this. Uh, so we'll go back to the same kit, but this is as it was before it was altered. Yeah, so um, let's just um, do something. Let's audition it, right, so we press the audition button. It'll do its thing, and it's a nice beat. It's the first one, it's fantastic. And but I mean, even just, I mean, come on, just, 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 just that, you know. Um, you got a tempo here. I mean, not tempo there. If I press edit, change this thing. I mean, come on. I mean, that's just, that's, it's having it that. So. Doing nothing, I'm not creating anything really, I've just messed about with the settings like you know, it's just like so you, you can tune it and that you know, you, you just uh, they don't do anything on this because it's not on. Uh, but we can do this, we can go to I mean, that's just I mean, I like it, I like it a lot. Okay, let's bring, bring the filter up a bit. So you can, you can like accent certain areas in the audio frequency spectrum. Add extra bits. I mean, what's coming in there? I don't know. That's really weird. Yeah, you know, I just, I just, that's brilliant. Because you, like, you can play on top of that as well. So you go. I mean, just a bit. I just think it's bonkers. Bring the amplitap back a bit so it gets sharper. It's just a full rate because of how it affects it. Just that's brilliant, that. and there's loads of effects. And I'm not even starting to go through the effects, you can just put effects on the thing. I mean, it, it's just it's just bonkers. to do anything in this voice, that's all.
Come on. And that's it for this time. Um, maybe make some more stuff soon. Uh, whoa, too long. See you later.